Before you fail all your classes, here's what you have to know. Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll be sharing my advice as a computer science major to you all so you all don't make the same mistakes I did because I made a lot of mistakes. In fact, I probably made every single mistake you could have and I don't want you all to make the same mistakes. So here's what you should and shouldn't do as a computer science major and here's my general advice. So the first major tip is that professors will impact your love for computer science. And I know it should not be this way, but it is. And before all the people say, oh, you should love computer science no matter what, you should be passionate about it. No, guys, you have to understand that no matter how much you love something, it's not hard for someone to take it away. Like it's very doable, especially when it comes to the educational field, especially when it comes to college, because a lot of people switch majors. It's a very common thing to do. And I don't want you to be one of those people who switch from computer science to information science. So the professors you take for computer science classes do play a big role simply because of the way they teach, the work they give. And sometimes I've come across professors who absolutely suck and they maybe hate certain classes that I thought I would love. So when you enroll computer science classes, you probably notice that the same class has three different teachers or two different teachers teaching that. You want to see professors ratings. You want to see some reviews, how people who have taken their class before with that professor uh, how they think that professor is and pick the best professor you possibly can a lot of times you probably see that one section is full and the other section has a bunch of open seats probably because that second professor is not too good so please see your professor's reviews before taking your computer science class like for example there is one class i took this semester actually and it's called computer and network security and personally i'm not a big network guy i didn't really think i would like the subject that much but my professor professor dave levin was so amazing and so enthusiastic about the subject that he literally made that class probably this, my second favorite CS class I've ever taken in my life. Like that's the impact one professor can have on your computer science career. Now my second tip is to start your projects early. As a computer science major, the majority of your work, like 60 to 40% of your work, will be you having to complete week-long or bi-weekly long projects for your respective class. Now these projects can be very heavy, especially if you are a junior or a senior, sometimes even a sophomore. Like, the reason professors give these projects two weeks before they're due is because they understand that, hey, this can take a lot of time. There'll be a lot of problems that students will run into. So we expect, you know, students to ask us questions, to run to these problems, try debugging. And the total amount of time it will take might be like four or five days, maybe even a week long. Hence, they give two or three weeks for it. And there's also the learners like me who end up waiting till the last minute to do the project. And this is probably the worst thing you can do. And, and I'm not going to act like a saint because this entire past semester of college, fall 2021, I probably started majority of my computer science projects one to two days before they were due. And I was pulling all nighters, working eight, nine hour days nonstop. And it was probably the worst, most burning feeling I possibly had in my life. Like I would be gas. I would be burnt after each project submission. And there have been two projects this semester that I submitted at 11.50 p.m. and they were due at 12 a.m. And trust me, you do not want to be in that spot. Like I was in that spot and I never want to be in that spot again. The best thing you can do is to start the project when you are given it. Now, don't do all of it obviously right now. Maybe do like one or two tasks of the seven tasks of the project and then spread each part or each subsection of the project throughout the week, right? Don't end up doing all the project at the end, but don't do it in the beginning either. Do some of the project, ask some questions, do more of the project, ask more questions. And then by the time it's due, you'll be long done already. And you'll be sitting pretty and you won't be stressed like I was a lot. And now my third tip is to have a study group. Every single computer science class I've taken in my college career thus far, I've had at least one friend taking it with me. And this helps a lot because computer science can be hard in college. Actually it is. And you will be inevitably stuck on some concepts, some problems, some project. So having a friend to help you you know, considering they're also not stuck that will be really helpful. Sometimes having a friend to talk to or guide you or just bounce ideas off can go a very long way in computer science. And in your computer science classes, you might be given group projects and it can be kind of cumbersome to try to find you know, random people to work with because you don't know how they work, how diligent they are. So you want to make sure you have at least someone you can rely on and having a good hardworking friend take the class with you is a guaranteed teammate that you can expect to get the work done with you. And of course, when the exams come and you have absolutely no idea what you're doing and you need help on almost everything, you can have that friend to help you and show you the way. Because in my personal classes, I had a, like two or three friends this semester taking the classes with me. So whenever I had a question or I literally couldn't understand like this one topic, then at least one of my friends knew what they were doing. Uh, very few times we were all just like, uh, how to do this. But luckily we managed to pull through and it just makes your friendship stronger as well. So why not? And now this brings me to tip number four and kind of ties in with the whole have friends take a class with you. 
And this is like a fine line that you have to make sure you don't fall over because then if you fall over, you're gonna fail. And that is to not risk cheating. Yes, I know in computer science, cheating is super rampant. I'm a TA, like I've seen students turn in papers and they sit right next to each other and they have the exact same code. I'm just like, bro, like we know you cheated, but I, sometimes I let them slide because I feel bad. And I don't want to be the reason that they get an XF. And for those who do not know, my university gives an XF. And what the XF is, is basically failure due to academic dishonesty. It's a gray letter or letters. And it's like failing a class, but failing due to academic dishonesty. And this will destroy any chance you have of an internship, a job, because if any company sees an XF on your transcript, they're going to be like, you got to get out, buddy. So there's no point even being in that position or setting yourself up in a position where you can get an XF. So just don't cheat. Okay, I know your friends might ask you, hey, send the code, send the code. I can't find how to do this part of the project. You have to refrain from that. You can help them by, you know, orally telling them, hey, you need to maybe look for how to reverse this link list at this stage. You maybe need to look for how to multi-thread on this stage, but do not send code because even if you do decide to send code, you think your friend is slick, one mess up can result in you, both of you getting an XF. And at that point, you know, your friendship will also probably be broken because you guys will not be happy. So please do not cheat. The TA in me is advising you guys to listen to what I'm saying. So listen. And by the way, if you did not see my day in life of a TA, then be sure to check this video out right here. Now, my fifth tip is to maximize recorded classes. Now, obviously with COVID, I, I do recommend going to your classes in person just because it's nice to have a college atmosphere, to have people around you because you never know with Omicron or other variants, you might all be sent home. It might be Zoom University all over again. So while you have the opportunity, be sure to maximize in-person uh, arrangements, in-person meetings as much as you can, especially in college where you only have four years of it, okay? So you don't want to like waste a year due to COVID. But now let's say you are lazy like me, right? Um, I did maximize my time, but at times I was lazy. And being lazy actually helps with computer science because most professors actually record their lectures and they post them online. And as a computer science major, a lot of your time, like I said, is being spent on working on these projects. So you might not have really have time to go to lecture. This actually can work in your favor because these recorded classes, you can put on 1.25 times speed, maybe even 1.5, or if you're a savage, maybe two times speed. And this playback speed setting literally saves lives. It helps you finish lectures way faster than you would have if you sat in class. A lot of times professors love to ramble on, maybe talk about their personal life or talk about things that really don't matter. And I'm not saying their personal life doesn't matter. I'm just saying in terms of student and teaching, you just need the information. Watching these recordings at a higher speed not only helps you save time, but helps you get all the information you need at a way faster rate and helps you have more time for projects and other work. And now my final tip is to make the most of your online discussion forum. So for every university, the computer science major offers some sort of online discussion thread or form that you can use to ask questions to TAs, professors, other students taking the class with you. And basically it's a great way to interact with other students and get your questions answered. For my university, depending on the class, we either use Piazza or CampusWire to talk to each other. And trust me, it has helped me with projects so, so much. You wanna use this to your advantage because TAs, and I'm a TA, we're required to answer questions that are posted on these online discussion forums. So no question ever gets unanswered. Every question will get an answer. And as a student, this is great news because a lot of times when you're you know, doing these projects, sometimes a project description or what you're, what's expected of you for this computer science project can be kind of ambiguous. And you're like, huh, so what does this part mean? At that point, just firing a question on CampusWire or Piazza saying, hey, what does this part of the project mean? Is probably the best thing you can do because within one or two hours, it will be answered and you can move on. There's no point trying to figure it out yourself when you have a whole community that can help you. Like, I'll be honest, sometimes I would fire three to four questions at once. So within an hour, when I check back, all the questions are answered and I have the most clarity I possibly can have to move forward on the project. Because at the end of the day, as a computer science major, I want my projects done by co-compiling and working with no bugs. And I want that hundred. And that should be your mindset too. So there should be no reason that you don't ask questions. I know sometimes people are like, ah, I don't want to be that one guy who keeps asking questions and then says, hey, Ritesh asked this, Ritesh also asked this, one hour later, Ritesh also asked this. Well, luckily on these online discussion forums, there's an anonymous option. So just post the question anonymously and no one will know that you're literally don't know what you're doing. Comment down below if you're a computer science major or if you're not, what major are you? I am very curious. Thank you all for watching. Peace.